gonna send you like a video of every time I lose someone I like fucking rage so hard. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck, shit! <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, we've noticed that people get really animated and upset and, uh, it's fantastic. Right? I love watching streamers freak out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we've already got, we've already got people in here. Hello! Hello, everybody! Welcome to another episode of Ladies Playing Indies. This week, we are obviously playing Darkest Dungeon because any of you that have been following me on Backseat Gaming Bros know how fucking obsessed I am with this game <laughs> and that I don't stop playing it. And ever. Ever. And we're lucky enough that Chris is here, the creative da director of Darkest Dungeon, and he decided to join us today. So we're so happy. Thank you so much, Chris, for joining us. We're really yeah, thrilled. Yeah, thanks. Oh, thanks for thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So Chris wanted to actually play my good game, so I'm like sweating bullets right now. I'm really <laughs> nervous. Um. So, <laughs> oh my god, uh, should I do a level three? Like, what? Well, what just you... make do do like some progression. You know, like do whatever you were naturally gonna do. Do whatever before, in my natural element. I okay. Decided to sit in and judge you. First of all, I like to check what is available. In Let's check out the scene here. Yeah, that's what I like <laughs> to do. I like to know everything before I make a decision. Yeah, so we've you got. You should do a boss run. Absolutely do. A oh boss my run. god! Right now, I'm not even ready. They're not even level four yet. We what are. are you, about? you got you got level three <laughs> necro and level three hag, and you got like an entire gardening crew of green dudes over on the right. Oh no! But I get so nervous. I get so <laughs> nervous. Like, I want them to be level 4, and I want all their things to be up to level 5. But, uh, okay. I'll no, do it. Enough. No, no, no. I don't, I don't want to push you out of your out of your comfort zone. I mean, I just, I just don't want anyone to die, because then it's going to get <laughs> real upset. I totally, I totally want someone to die. I know you do. <laughs> you get that. Oh. I kind of want someone to die, too. Oh, I my God. My stress meter is at full right now. Like, I'm about to go masochistic right now yeah. on the stream. Somebody actually uh, tweeted to us that they're like... I, they're like, I finally understand Darkest Dungeon. It's about managing my own stress while I play. <laughs> it's pretty excellent. You know what my greatest, like, interesting thing that I've noticed is people don't like the Grave Robber, and, like, Grave Robber is, like, by far my favorite character out of all characters. I'm because, a huge Grave Robber fan. Because she's blonde and awesome, and, you know. She's okay. kind of based off my wife, actually. Oh, really? Oh, that is that. adorable! Oh, the cutest thing I've ever heard. Though, so. Chris, why don't you give us an what overview is, of what the is the fucking about? darkest dungeon? Sure. Um, so you've inherited this kind of rotten estate. Um, you get a letter from an ancestor saying, "Like I made a huge fucking mistake. Um, you got to get home and help me out." Uh, and then he kills himself, and so you sort of arrive in this like rundown little town outside of, you know, overlooking the sort of like ancestral state lands and it's all been kind of messed up and corrupted and it's just sort of like a woodstock for for assholes basically <laughs> they're just come from all places and they're gathered here um but essentially the hook of the game is that these four adventurers that you, you sort of build these parties manage a roster and try to restore you know order to your family's estate while sending heroes into this meat grinder basically also i'm doing a dark run right now which means no You're torches. crazy. No, Dark Runs are the best! <laughs> I love okay. Dark Runs. No, that's awesome. Alright, let's do this here. We're all basically level zeros at this point, okay. except Jacob. Executed He's the only one. I, I normally take, like, level zero nobodies on Dark Runs on suicide missions, and then I just get rid of them. I'm like, thanks for yeah. dying so or <laughs> sacrificing your sanity. Oh yeah, by the Goodbye. way, well, you, Jacob you, you says thanks, Anna, in caps. <laughs> Wait, who said that? Jacob. <laughs> oh, oh, Jacob, don't worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> they said you'd say that. <laughs> so a pro tip is, um, you see their level little shield on that roster thing in town? Um, it's, it's like gray and dirty and kind of white earlier on, but then at level three it goes green. Yeah. Because to me, that's when you can actually start giving a shit about the hero. Like, oh yeah. It's kind of like World War One. like, many more of them will die than will live. And so once you wrap your head around that and you view your heroes as kind of a means to an end, mm -hmm. um, they're pretty disposable in the early game. And then as you move from you know mid into late, you're going to start having guys that you know and identify with. Yeah. Like, that's why last night when I was playing and we lost my other highwaymen, I freaked the shit out. <laughs> One's going to die. We're fine. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. 
Uh-huh. I was so upset and he was like my number he was like my pinch hitter it was like grape shot crits for days and I was like this is great <laughs> it's awful it's an awful feeling I it lost is. the grave robber that I named after my wife oh jeez oh, what did no. she have to say just cooked her right up I was so pissed <laughs> <laughs> like, my campaign right now is actually in kind of trouble like I <laughs> lost my A team and I'm like halfway through and out of money so I have to start doing some like just blitz runs. Oh yeah! I can't stock back up again. So the game even hates me, and I made it. What was your inspiration behind all all the artwork in this game? Because over and over and over again, from every one of my viewers, I always hear the artwork is freaking amazing, and I agree too. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about how you decided to go with this dark, gritty art style and where it came from in your brain? Um, well, it was kind of a deliberate thing, like I've done digital painting for uh, for a long time. I've been a concept artist and worked on like, I worked on a Sonic game, I worked on like a more realistic kind of fable kind of looking game. Mm -hmm. um, so you had to be really adaptable and uh, I've been an art director as well for a number of years and you know when I sat down with Tyler to do this, um, I sort of looked at like old medieval woodcuts and um, so that was kind of a neat place to start. There's some pretty weird, horrific stuff. Because we knew we wanted to make the game look like it was actually almost from the time that it's describing. Like, mm -hmm. almost like you're reading about these adventures years and years and years later, you know? So you're, like, flipping the storybook pages almost. Mm -hmm. um, but then we, we knew we wanted, like, I wanted this comic book kind of presentation. So I looked at, like, you know, Mike Mignola, obviously. Uh, Guy Davis, um, Victor Kalvachev, Dan Pinocean. Like, just a bunch of my favorite comic book guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and we wanted it like black and hard edged because it's supposed to be, you know, like the game's pretty unforgiving. Um, so that's why, you know, there's a lot of angles and hard shadows. Um, we're trying to, we're trying to like mirror the gameplay values, you know, really and tie the creative direction all together so that the art says the same things about the game that the design and the system say about it. Does that make sense? So you're you basically just crawling through dungeons and collecting loot at this point? Yeah, because I need some gold to upgrade my people so that I can be badass enough to fight a boss. <laughs> Cause you don't yeah, want to go in like you don't want to go balls to the wall in to a boss fight in this game because you will fucking die a lot and you will. Yeah, we kind of designed the bosses to be like the first time you go, um, you should almost like scout them, like go with a with your B team, check yeah. out the boss mechanics, maybe lose one or two guys and then escape, and then go in with your A team with a better understanding of, of how to do the fight. Like a lot of people complain, they like immediately go to the to the steam forums or whatever and they're like you know the hag is op and i agree the hag can mess you right up but you know there are ways to make it you know substantially easier on yourself yeah um, if, if you can kind of think through the mechanics a little bit yeah yeah the bosses are sort of like philosophically I and mean, there's going to be double bosses in every zone right and so they're basically going to be like gates that you need to pass well, your teams through in order to, to like make sure that they're ready for the darkest dungeon essentially mm -hmm. you know so some boss fights will be like heal checks to make sure that your top end healers are actually you know you're using them effectively other ones will be like dps races some of them may be positional tutorials essentially mm -hmm. um got some really cool ideas for like you know, a, a more uh, party order oriented fight. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun. The bosses are a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? I'm happy you applied strategy to it. That's amazing. Like, it's not just a, I'm gonna level up as high as I can and then just steamroll over it. Like, we have to think about it. Yeah, the game is really a lot like poker. Like, you should really, ideally, anyway, you should feel that, like, it's always a question of how far do you push, you know, like, do you mm -hmm. fold the hand now and cut and run and keep whatever money you've got, or do you, like, double down and, and, and push ahead? Um, and so that's why we, we jumped on that stun lock sort of exploit, because we were just watching streamers, like, lock down the last enemy and then heal to full, and it completely erodes that sense of, like, tension on the player's yeah. part. That's really the whole point of the game, is to stress the player out with all these sort of on-the-fly managerial choices. Right. Know? Look, you are not nearly stressed enough. We need to make this worse, like, by a lot. <laughs> that so, Crusader's starting to feel it. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Now, okay, now you're in a little bit of a pickle. You're in a pickle, <laughs> say. Um, I I think it'll be okay, maybe. That's Aww. the thing I love about this game, too, Chris, is that, like, you can, like, last battle, I was like, ah, oh, I fucking got this, and now it's like, oh my god, I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> I'm having regrets. Everything's falling apart. Yeah. yeah. And that can happen in a matter of just, like, one turn. 
Yeah, that's their their big swings. We we wanted a bigger sort of like more dramatic swing in the flow of combat. And I know I've heard a lot of people complain that the heals are underpowered, but I respectfully believe that they don't quite understand the role of heals in our game is really just to slow your death. It's yeah. not exactly. Oh, Jacob, that was amazing. This is why you're getting to level three. How big is the Red Hook team? There's five core guys. There's uh, myself. Tyler Sigmund, my, my business partner, um, game designer. Um, there's uh, Kier uh, Myron, Pierre Tardif, and Brooks Gordon. Um, Kier and Pierre are both our engineers, and um, Brooks is the animator slash technolora slash I can kind of fix bugs as well. He's one of those weird, like, really, really smart technical guys, and then he's got a, a good art eye as well, so I sort of resent and hate him for that. <laughs> yeah. And we had, uh, we have Wayne June doing the, the narration, um... Like, oh, I was gonna it, ask. Yeah, he's amazing. It's, and, yeah. Uh, Stuart Chatwood did the, did the soundtrack, which is also amazing. Power Up Audio did all the sound effects and mixing, and those guys are incredible too, so we've been really, really lucky that all of our sort of contractors and partners outside of the core team have been just, like, real, real top-end guys, I don't know. It's, we're very mm -hmm. lucky. All right, so this is this is my this is my A team. This is the A team. This okay. is the A team. Nice. Occultist healer on the A team. What? Interesting. Occultist healer on the A team. <laughs> yeah. Occultist is badass. They're judging you. you. I don't know if you know that. No, no, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Now I'm horribly frightened, but that's okay. What sort of things do you have in mind for full release? Have you guys discussed lifespan for the game, DLC, or just concerned with getting stuff done at this point? Um, well, up until now, it's been ah. that. Now that, we, now that we know we have- Oh, oh, oh this God is God so damn it, I hate when I get surprised! Oh. <laughs> uh, DLC, we haven't really mapped out. We've got, like, a bunch of really, really loose ideas, but we just haven't touched them. Um, because we were pushing so hard to get, you know, just the, the early access build up and running. So we, scope-wise, we're pretty set. We're gonna do the next, the darkest dungeon in the cove, and then I mentioned the other heroes, and each dungeon has their own set of monsters, and interactive objects and all that stuff, so there's a chunk of content there, and then we're doubling all the bosses, so there'll be two bosses in every level, for every dungeon type. You you can't play this like regular RPG thinking that like you should be full health, no stress, and that and that is success. Success in this game is, is survival, and, and really, three surviving out of a four party is, is, is an yeah. A-, in my book, so... <laughs> That's why I do the lunge! That's the lunge! <laughs> Oh my god, everyone get back to you your made fucking it. You made it. positions. I'm not happy though. That one battle put me in not a happy stress space, so... Why is your Hellion debuffed? Because I thought you... that happens when you whap. Oh yeah, 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 okay, so you... yeah. You went I was like, was it? Off. Didn't you do that? <laughs> I didn't see you. I didn't see you yaw or whatever. Oh yeah, I I do that all the time. Oh man, you are stressed. Out. I know, <laughs> I know. Come on, we're just gonna yeah. get a whole bunch of crits in a row, and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. How much? How much further do you have left? Like, are we? Is this oh, one of those the, things we can we've leave? Just oh yeah, we can leave, but we just oh, okay. barely started. Oh, ten percent crit. Mm. Someone That's apparently actually... just got a boner off of your ten heals. Just so you know. I mean. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. It's really cool. Oh boy wants to be taught how to be art, please, and will pay in high fives ah. and positive vibes. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Lock that in. That's a so what everybody needs is high fives and positive <clears throat> vibes. So, so, Chris, what is your favorite class? I don't know. I have a kind of a a love triangle with the grave robber, the bounty hunter, and the highwayman. Um. I like a lot of the movement stuff. Like, I like rolling party formations so that, you know, like, guys are jumping to the front and then dropping to the back. Like, mm -hmm. I like that sort of dynamic style of, of play. Um, Brooks, who sits, sits beside me, really prefers, like, this more, like, you know, tank up front, you know, buff his move resist so yeah. that he never gets in position, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's, I, you know, I got a soft spot for the Grave Robber, really, I think. I agree. She's my favorite. I want to do a Grave Robber movie with Emily Blunt. That would be amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I've already I've already got, like, after I do my next two cosplays, my, my third cosplay in line is Grave Robber, so... I'm gonna do it. Oh! So good! All oh, the crits! Oh, ho, ho. 
these little guys, these guys can suck a dick, by the way. These little bone fucking nobles? bone yeah. nobles. God yeah, damn. They can. You're not tempted by their goblets? No. <laughs> That's how tempted I am by their goblets. <laughs> oh my god, I don't I'm know. nervous. I don't wanna fight the boss with your A team looking like this. Well, you were like, we have to go on a boss run. <laughs> I don't know. I, who's to say? Who said it? There was a lot of things. <laughs> there, were, there were a lot of things. A lot of people said a lot of things. I don't remember what anyone said. There's no record of any of this. <laughs> no, of course. This isn't being record recorded. For... Oh, tell me about the Darkest Dungeon fan fiction that you guys had for a while. What? Like, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was written by this guy who goes by the handle Twitch Blade. It's not, like, weird fan fiction. Like, That's sex. because I didn't write it. Oh. Um... <laughs> yeah. I was hoping Which is for both its damage. greatest flaw and greatest strength. Um, but it, yeah, he did like, I think, victory. I want to say 20 something less. chapters, and they're all written from like, cool. in like blocks from one perspective. Um, this is, it's really cool. It, there, I think there's a link on our forum. Um, but yeah, I, I, they're, they're great. I had a really good time reading them. I, I hope he does more, to be honest, mm -hmm. but he's like traveling for work and stuff now. But uh, yeah, every every week or so, he was dropping a new like episode. It felt like Game of Thrones. That's amazing. Yeah, because yeah, because like, cool. I didn't find out about it until a little bit ago because I was like streaming and I was like, I just want to write some Darkest Dungeon fan fiction. And Zedital was like, There is some already. And I was like, What? <laughs> Link me this fan fiction right now. It's the internet. Being the first to write a fan fiction is pretty difficult. Oh, I'm so good at this oh, game. Holy shit. Wow. There's a. <laughs> There's now uh, in my stream going around that there's a drinking game that every time I say it's fine that it's they fine. have to drink. Mm. I'm out of scotch. Oh, that's okay. We can we'll we'll get some more sent up to Canada. I've like I've I've run into so many scotch drinkers recently. It makes me happy. I didn't realize we were that populous. Oh, I don't like. I this. don't claim to to be like an, a real aficionado. Um, yeah, you drink it. It's enough. <laughs> yeah, I I liked it a lot. Anytime they get up. under half. I get really nervous. Yeah. It'll be fine. Wow, these crits though are real. They're so real. Also, I've seen a lot of great fan art from this game so far. Like, uh, fan art is better than yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I, we actually got a couple of artists to do some art for our for our launch. And yeah. That was really cool to see. We've been tweeting it out. It's on our oh page. my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No. You gotta. Breakthrough, don't stop. Oh, okay, I'm right. not gonna stop. Right. I'm just getting nervous. <laughs> if I die, I will just I will rage. Something, something will <laughs> something will die in my house. Hippo, there we go. run away. There we go. No, get away, hippo, get away. No! God damn it! Fucking shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You better get to the healer. Ah! Ah! <laughs> the garbage. It's garbage. No! <laughs> oh my god! Use a food! Use a food to get her off Death I, Can you use a food? You can't use food when you're in battle! <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah! <laughs> thanks! Thanks, Chris! God damn it! I'm gonna have a heart attack! Oh my god! Give me a heart attack! No! I'm gonna fucking die! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, thank god! Oh, you better hope for I'm a one. fucking god of my you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god. No, you s Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. I swear to god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. You got this. You got this. Oh, Mata Mike. I fucking love you. Oh. <sighs> I can like my stress oh, meter. Clutch. This is a clutch occultist. Look at that. Whoa. I know. This is a cultist. <laughs> Goddamn thing. Oh my god. We're gonna we almost made it. We're two <laughs> rooms shy. I'm getting I'm getting the F out. <laughs> GTFO. Uh -oh. what? I'm not gonna I I don't wanna lose my dudes. Fair enough. <laughs> Don't judge me, Chris! Don't judge me! <laughs> they oh, are happened, really expensive. What happened to Jacob? Where is he? Oh, he probably went on a drinking binge. He's left Jacob. in search of a holy vision. Fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I am oh, really he'll, he'll happy that you back. added that question mark though, because for a while I was like, where did my guy go? <laughs> yeah, we didn't because we, we took the the slide off the roster too. So you're just like, okay, he's totally gone. <laughs> I added you guys. We're gonna go on a we're gonna go on a little dark run. You might die. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be worried. <laughs> Nobody's worried here. We'll put it Chris. He did he did pretty well last time, so he can he can come for another stream. We gotta bring back DJ Boss Jack Senior. Just don't, uh, don't stressed, put me back sorry. in there because No, you I, I sent you to go chill out, remember, in the brothel. I did horribly, right? So don't you probably shouldn't take me. Plus you kept making me touch dead things. Amanda, you're dead. You've been dead for a while. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean you're you didn't fine. Even, oh. <laughs> That's like the sixth sense. You were just talking and answering yeah. <laughs> questions. You were dead the whole time. You didn't tell me I died. Uh, so I was not trying to let you know that you died. <laughs> I love it when people come back to my stream and they're like, "Am I alive?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> but we can make you better and stronger." The fiends must be driven back. All right, let's and get some. Place let's get some golds real quick. Noble line. We'll do that. So what what is what is level five like? Like, am I gonna be super like paranoid by the time I get to level five? Uh, it was actually a little bit easier than the early game until the most recent patch. Um, just because we, being such a small team, we didn't have a chance to test the the level five stuff, and so watching streamers play, we were like, "Good God, it's way too simple." Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna be tuning and tweaking it, you know, as we go. Um, yeah. But level five is really more about like. At that point, you should be in, in the full game. You'll be cultivating your guys up for a run at the darkest dungeon, which is like a um, one-way ticket. So you can't escape that dungeon. You can't escape. Um, oh my god, I'm no, already having heart palpitations die. about it. Yeah. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But that, that's kind of like you know you you work your guys up through the ranks, and then you can expect like darkest dungeon is actually level six. Um, oh my god. Well, when I when I finally get to that place where I'm ready for Darkest Dungeon, I'll have to have you back on, and <laughs> so you can watch yeah. me die and kill kill all my favorite characters, and then I'll just go <laughs> off in the corner and start crying. Bring lots of scotch. Yeah, yeah. I'll need at least at least four glasses of wine for that run. <laughs> and then we'll it's just salute at the very end. We'll have a little funeral. Yeah. <gasps> we should have a funeral. Aw. If we're gonna have a funeral, we're gonna be there for days. Because <laughs> there's a lot of death. A lot of death in this game. Well, just, just lump it all together to our friends and loved ones <laughs> who fought valiantly. Yeah. So, for anybody who's out there in Streamland, what are your guys' favorite classes or any fun stories that you've come across or experienced or seen on the stream? What do you mean? That? Uh, no while we're waiting for that... It's a, it's a, I'm never gonna do it. Zedital. Zedital. I, I always forget that. And uh, he wants to know how BTA knows Chris. Uh, basically, before PAX East 2014, I was looking at the indie mega booths. Like they put together a compilation video of these are the games that's gonna be in the indie mega booth. And I was going through them like I do every time they release the video and. I was looking at all the ones that I wanted to play, and I came across Darkest Dungeon, and I was like, this game looks fucking badass! I'm gonna go play it! <laughs> First thing is I made a beeline for Darkest Dungeon, and I met all the Darkest success. Dungeon guys, and I hung out, and they're really awesome, and then I well, came back and played pleasure. more, and I did that again at Lord PAX Prime, and I'm a little obsessed, so. They're just really cool people, and I like hanging out with you guys. That's all. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so nice. Should, should be called Friendship Dungeon, am I right? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, yes. Someone needs to art this and have, like, instead of darkness, just, like, hearts and fucking rainbows and unicorns everywhere. Oh, goodness. But Chris, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on the stream and answering all these wonderful questions and just being being a part of this Darkest Dungeon run. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you guys yeah, want to follow you. Chris... We have his Twitter handle at the bottom, Barossa Art. I know I butchered your last name, so I apologize. Barossa. Uh, um, Barossa, yeah. Barossa. Oh. See? <laughs> I can't even pronounce my name half the time, so it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, so thank you much for having me on. I, we're, it's awesome to watch streamers play the game. It's been really cool, and it was a big part of our marketing, so we're happy to, to be around. And yeah, you can reach me there, or you can um, just tweet to at Darkest Dungeon if you had any questions. We'll do our best to 
answer them. And um, yeah, thanks for check in on the me. check in on the the stream chat before you go because lots of nice things being said. <laughs> Oh, look, at, there's a lot of nice all There's the so nice many things. nice things well, being said. Thanks, everyone. We're uh, we're going to do our best. We might take the weekend off, though. So oh, yeah, they we'll deserve, you guys start, deserve a nice Starting vacation. Monday, we'll, we'll start our best on Monday. Go Definitely. relieve your stress levels. Yeah, go, yeah. go drink and go to Roth <laughs> and whatnot.